Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the press conference following the meeting between Latvian and Czech foreign ministers. Working languages of the press conference are English and Latvian with simultaneous interpretation. We are live stream on the webpage of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and its social media accounts. We'll start with the statement of the Foreign Affairs Minister of Latvia, Mr. Edgar Zinkevich. Dear and members of the press, good afternoon. We just had a meeting with my counterpart from Czech Republic, Mr. Jan Lipowski. I am absolutely delighted to welcome Jan to Latvia today. We had uh, a lot to uh, cover today, uh, but a minister started his visit to Latvia by visiting Camp Ardagi, where uh, Czech troops are uh, also uh, training together with other NATO forces as part of the NATO uh, battle group. I would like to thank the Czech Republic for its steadfast and firm support to the security of Latvia and the Baltic region by both deploying their, its troops uh, to uh, Latvia as well as regularly participating in a uh, Baltic airspace policing mission, air uh, policing mission, pardon me. As regards to our bilateral relations, uh, well, I have to say that uh, Latvia and Czech Republic are like-minded EU uh, member states as well as uh, we have a shared position when it comes to NATO agenda and uh, global and regional developments because we're very closely cooperating on providing support to Ukraine, both uh, politically as well as uh, practically. We also talked about issues that are that pertain to uh, holding uh, Russia accountable for its war crimes in Ukraine in a special ad hoc international tribunal. And uh, th on this issue, our uh, positions again uh, overlapped. We also talked about Ukrainian integration in the European Union. Uh, as you know, Ukraine has been granted a candidate country con status uh, uh, like Moldova. So we discussed uh, how Czech Republic and Latvia can support the accession of these countries to the EU. We also talked about the forthcoming NATO summit in Vilnius. That was another issue that we discussed. We both belong, uh, Czech Republic and Latvia, to the eastern flank of the alliance. We both face similar challenges and are also working towards similar targets and goals. And we will uh, continue to support uh, the uh, uh, developments uh, that started with the last year Madrid summit. We will uh, ensure uh, the uh, comprehensive and forward presence of allies throughout the eastern flank and air defense systems and joint um, defense uh, planning and development. And hopefully during the Vienna summit, we will welcome the 31st NATO member state, Sweden, to the uh, family, uh, to the uh, group. And we also talked how we should practically and politically support support the U Ukrainian Euro-Atlantic integration, uh, which is very important. What are the signals uh, that we should give and what are the steps that uh, the country should make during the Vilnius uh, summit? Now, as regards to bilateral relations, I should say that there wasn't really a lot to talk because politically and uh, in terms of education, culture and business, we have excellent cooperation. It's been excellent ever since. We became independent during the first independence in the 1920s and also when we restored Czech public when we saw our independence Czech Republic Republic has always been our trusted and close strategic partner and supporter and uh, as we restored our independence, we also agreed that we are going to develop and deepen the good bilateral relations with the uh, Czech Republic. Now, the floor is uh, given to the Czech Foreign Minister. Please, the floor is yours. Dear Mr. Minister, uh, thank you for your invitation and um, the warm welcome here uh, in Riga that, that I have received. Um, thank you also for the productive discussions. Um, uh, I have to agree, uh, relations between Czechia and Latvia are really based on shared values and close foreign and security policy interests and priorities. Um, today we only confirm that during our meetings um, that, that this, is, this is still true and I hope it will be true. Um, 
We consider uh, the involvement of members of the Czech Armed Forces in the so-called NATO for the presence uh, to be an important area of uh, mutual cooperation. Uh, this is the fifth year uh, that members of the Czech Armed Forces have been deployed in Latvia. Um, and uh, this was also the reason why I have today visited uh, the Ejezi base and spoke with his uh, commander, Colonel Sandris uh, Gaugers, and uh, also with Czech soldiers, which are currently uh, serving, um, serving there. And I assure them that we are prepared to face our common challenges together. Uh, so strengthening the NATO's eastern flank is in our best interest and it's in our vital interest. And we also share similar position with Latvia in relation to the transatlantic partnership. Uh, we are actively supporting Ukraine and uh, we take an uncom uncompromising stance towards Russia. Uh, sadly, uh, Russia has not changed its mentality. It still behaves like an empire. So we are working with, uh, with other members of uh, the international community to hold Russia accountable for the crimes of aggression, war crimes and crimes against humanity. In the area of energy security, we also support maximum independence from Russian energy sources. Uh, also, both our countries support the enlargement of the European Union to include the countries of the Western Balkans, and also we believe that Ukraine and Moldova, as well as Georgia, belong in the European family. Um, so, and maybe to end on a, on a lighter note, I am very much looking forward to the upcoming World Ice Hockey Championship uh, and the match of our Czech team against Latvia in mid-May. I'm sure that the organization will be smooth and successful. So, Edgar, thank you. Uh, thank you once again uh, for this kind meeting. And, uh, and uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Paldies, Ministru Kungi. I would like to thank the ministers for their opening statements. Now the floor is open to media. Please ask your question, but introduce yourself and to also indicate to whom you would like to address the question. You can ask either in Latvian or English. We'll start with Ines Strozin from Latvian Television, but wait for the microphone to be delivered to you. And television. I would like to ask my question to Mr. Lipovska, if I may. Uh, could you please, uh, uh, Mr. Minister, describe us uh, what is overall mood in Czech Republic towards help uh, to Ukraine? Because, of course, you are helping a lot uh, politically uh, and also uh, financially and also with the military. But uh, recently you had some demonstrations also against government and also some uh, claims against your uh, help to Ukraine. Could you please describe us uh, the, the overall mood yeah. in society? And also, if I may, could you please tell us what kind of relationship you have now with Hungary? As, you, as we know, you are all together in Visegrad group, but as Hungary has different uh, point of view regarding help uh, to Ukraine, and also ministers, your colleagues from Hungary visiting Russia, so could you please tell us how, would you, how, how, how you keep this relationship with Hungary? Thank you. So, um, in regard of uh, Czech society and Ukraine, Please understand that Soviet Red Army came to Czechoslovakia twice. First, they were welcomed uh, because they were liberators from the Nazi occupation. And for the second time in 1968, they came again as occupators. And this is very well remembered by everyone in Czechia. So uh, in every family you have stories what happened in, uh, on, on 21st of August of 1968. When, uh, when Warsaw Pact invaded Czechoslovakia. And uh, of course, it's not easy uh, to explain why government supports Ukraine, why we send military aid, why we send humanitarian aid, why we provide um, political and, and financial help to Ukraine. Um, uh, in Czechia, which is a 10 million nation, we accepted 500,000 Ukrainian refugees. We are the number one per capita in Europe. Uh, some of them returned to Ukraine, some of them are staying and uh, kids are going to school. They are provided with very social, uh, social benefits so they can basically survive and you know, they can have healthcare, for example. And this needs to be explained very carefully to society, of course, with high inflation and, and uh, with, uh, with, with surging energy prices. 
also this creates a certain situation when the government has a task of explaining why it is important for our security to provide this kind of help. And I told it to Minister, uh, Latvian security is Czechia security, and in the situation when the Russian imperialism um, is taking place in Ukraine, the Ukraine security is our security too, so it's, it's a common task. So, uh, so um, uh, the, the society understands that, and of course we need to be very careful in explaining, uh, in explaining why we do uh, what we do, and uh, we have a support of majority of society, definitely. And on Hungary, we need to be uh, talking to Hungary all the time. We need to uh, we need to be discussing on a platform of V4, NATO, EU. Uh, and at the end of the day, all the sanctions packages of EU were agreed also with Hungary approval. So definitely, my position is to be patient to explain our security concerns. Uh, Hungary faces a similar challenges to Slovakia, Czechia, Poland, and also Latvia: high energy prices, refugees, uh, irregular migration. So. Let's be looking for a common solution. I think it's always better than to have uh, divided divided Europe. Uh, so, so this is this is my approach, and uh, I'm trying to be very careful in explaining uh, Czech Czech interests to, to Hungarian uh, colleagues. Well, the yes, Minister Kungam Lodzo. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Are there any other questions? I know that the Czech Radio would like to ask questions. Uh, as you have left Czechia, from Czechia, you said uh, that you want to uh, get inspiration here in Latvia about international sanctions. So my question is, uh, what uh, have you learned so far and when we can see some results in Czechia? Uh, <laughs> so, so I have learned the clear dedication and will uh, to, to proceed with something is a key uh, because those sanctions they are at the end of the day decided by government and it's a political it's a show of political will uh, so so we have discussed that of course the exchange of information on practical level it's something uh, where our countries can can cooperate and of course um, I know that I'm under a little bit of pressure when the Czech Republic has the first sanctions uh, listed um, I hope it will be soon I don't want to be very specific uh, but but uh, believe me that my ministry is intensively working on that. And I would like to again thank uh, Latvia for all the cooperation and inspiration, uh, which was very important for us when, um, when uh, starting with the, with the whole sanction thing in Czechia. Do we have any other questions? Not to spoil anything. Okay. Why do you have a question, Lud? Yeah, a there are no further questions. Thank you all. This concludes our press conference. Have a nice day.